am going to be sharing to you one of our toddler activities for this week. It's called Walking on the Line. If you're interested, then keep on watching. channel. For those of you who are new here, I am Malai and I am a licensed nurse and a mom to a two-year-old toddler. This is the third episode of our Montessori journey at home and if you haven't watched our previous episodes, you can click the card above or you can check the link in the description box below. But before we start the episode, um, you know the drill, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified in my next video. If you watch our videos and follow me on my social media accounts like my Instagram, my Facebook account, you will know that we have been practicing the Montessori at home since Kara was a newborn. I have been reading so many books, ebooks. I joined the Montessori community on Facebook. I read blogs of other Montessori mommies and sometimes I attend webinars. However, I still find it lacking. Uh, iba pa rin kasi yung may nakakausap ka na isang Montessori guide or Montessori expert. When, as I was observing Kara, I get to ask myself, am I introducing the correct material or am I presenting the right material at the right time and at the right sequence? Because uh, sometimes when there's too much information, tendency is to overwhelm tayo, right? And that's exactly how I felt. Buti na lang, as I was following this thread sa isang Montessori community sa Facebook, nakilala ko si Teacher Anna. Teacher Anna is based in Manila. She's a certified Montessori guide and she's been teaching for over 20 years now. She owns it, a center as well. It's called 1618 Read Montessori Center. And after I've done my research and talked to her, so I registered Kara sa center nila. Supposedly, it should be a homeschooling setup. We will follow a certain schedule or depending kung ano yung schedule na agrihan namin. And then they will meet virtually. However, I find it na parang hindi siya mag-work for us. Ayoko ng homeschooling setup. So, mas gusto ko pa din yung parang the usual play-based learning na daily routine namin ni Kara yung ipapalo ko. And I will be the one to observe Kara. I will just tell her the improvements, kung, uh, kung ano yung mga current interest ni Kara. And then, we will discuss about it. Then, later on, she will send to us through email the detailed activity plan for that week. And then, kasama nun is kung ano yung right na material for that certain period and then how to use it and kung paano siya ipipresent and following the right sequence. I find this arrangement uh, not good for us. Kasi di ba nga, one of the core principles ng Montessori method is to follow the child. Now, if you're interested to know more about teacher Anna and to know more about her services, you can check the link of her website and Facebook account in the description box below. Today, I'm going to be sharing to you one of our toddler activities for this week. It's called Walking on the Line. Walking on the Line is a practical activity suitable for kids from 2 to 6 years old. This helps a child be aware of his body, coordinate his movements, and improves concentration. All you need for this activity is a chalk or tape and a safe area where you can do the activity. An ellipse is drawn or taped on the floor. Demonstrate the activity to your child and tell him he can have his turn if he likes once you're done. He's going to walk in the line and then you can have your turn after mommy's turn, okay? In demonstrating, demonstrate silently. Kasi when you demonstrate while saying something, 
tendency is the child will focus more on what you're saying rather than what you're doing. Walk and take natural steps on the line. Once you're done, you can ask your child to do it, but do not force. Do the activity in a spirit of fun and discovery, letting your child to explore freely. If your child is already doing the activity, make sure not to interrupt nor distract. We do not want to interrupt a child at work. Remember that play is the work of the child, so we don't interrupt a child at work. Now, your control of error for this activity is a line. The child will know that she's doing or he's doing it correctly if he stays on the line. For us, this activity is still an activity in progress because we are still waiting for Kara to be more confident to walk on the line. Remember to follow the child and we do not force. Pressure and stress have no place in child's early learning. So, um, if your child has mastered the activity already, you can ask her to walk in heel to toe or over a period of time, you can challenge him to walk correctly while bringing a basket or if not, uh, putting a book on top of their head and um, ang daming variations. You can also ask them to bring a flag and walk straight, walk correctly on the line. Uh, one more thing, you can also ask him to bring a bell and hold the bell in its handle and then walk through the line, walk on the line without making a sound. And lastly, you can encourage him to walk on the line while bringing a water filled in the brim without spilling it. that they are not confident yet, it's okay. Just reiterate because we don't want them to feel that they failed because they have it. If they seem like they're not getting the concept, that's all right. What you need to do is go right back to it and if they're interested with something else, let them. observe and follow your child and work from there. I hope you enjoy and learn from today's video. If you have comments, clarification, questions, and additional information, please write it in the comment section below. And um, if you want more real-time toddler activities, you can check my Instagram and Facebook account, which I'll be putting the link in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you won't miss my next video. Once again, this is Melai. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again next week. Bye!